Well guys, we're at the beautiful Honeymoon Bay. Now this place is absolutely spectacular. We've got the whole campsite set up and it's time for a bit of a feed. Now what am I gonna cook up? Well, I'm gonna cook up a hearty meal. Something you can sort of get your teeth into. And it's called, um, we're gonna call it a red wine, a red wine stew. So lamb red wine stew. I'm gonna use little lamb cutlets. So we'll call it cutlet red wine stew. How's that sound? All right, here we go. We'll get a bit of heat going. So this is quick and easy. The longest part will be sitting back, watching it sort of simmer away on the coals with a beer. So a little bit of oil. Onions go in with some garlic. Now this is an awesome, awesome sort of dish to, to feed the troops, so to speak. Heaps of garlic, we love the garlic. Don't be slack on the garlic, or stingy as they say. We're gonna put a bit of salt and pepper in there, so. Now I've just chucked that straight into the camp oven. Now this camp oven's seasoned, by the way, so it's good to go. Oh, you can hear that frying up. So that's the onion just frying away. Now, I need some lamb. So let's go over to the fridge here. What do we got in the fridge? I got some lamb cutlets, about 10 there. Nothing like a good feed. So what do we want to do with these is basically you just want to open them up and you just want to chuck them in just like that. Alrighty, so while that's simmering away, I'll get some uh, carrots going here. So basically I'm just going to chop the carrots Potatoes, I'm not going to bother peeling them, but what I will do is I'll cut them up sort of little, little cubes, so to speak. This is a bit of parsley. Chuck that in. And we're just sort of, you know, just rough chopping the old basil. And we're just gonna chuck that in like that. Now I've got some mushrooms here, so a couple of mushrooms. You know, you're looking at really good, there's a lot of veggies and, you know, it's good, good healthy tucker. This will give the, um, the old stew a bit of body. Now, a couple of tins of tomato. So these are just uh, mixed herb tomato, something you use in a bolognese sauce. We're gonna chuck them in, two of those tins. There we go. Oh, these ones were whole peeled tomatoes. I thought they were the same ones, but who cares? I'll get that mixing around. Oh, look at that. There's nothing like a hearty stew, I'll tell you now. Especially some good flavors in there, tomatoes and herbs. And... All right. This is where we make the red wine jizz. Jizz, juice, I don't know. I don't know the fancy French name for it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it a bit of volume. It's gotta have, you know, the liquid that we put in there, you don't want it to be too runny. You want it to have, you want it to stick to the pieces of, of you know, meat and veggies when you eat it. You don't wanna just dribble it off down your chin, you know what I mean? So we're gonna, we're gonna sort of use the, um, some of the, uh, some of the uh, beef stock. <laughs> we're gonna use some of the beef stock to mix that up and the rest of it we're gonna put in here. So I'm gonna stick Pretty much that whole litre of beef stock in there. All right, we'll mix that up. Oh yeah, that's looking good, looking real good. I'll mix this one up. All right, while that's mixing up, let's stick some red wine in. Now I know you think this is a spring water bottle. Um, there's a story behind that. Uh, Simon was um, instructed to, um, to get the red wine. And um, anyway, he brought back the red wine, but it didn't have a screw cap, it had a cork in it. And <laughs> once you pop the cork, it's hard to put it back in unless you got, I don't know, a cap or whatever. So he's put it in this bottle. So if, if you want to know, it's red wine. So I'm going to pour, and I was instructed by Simon as well, not to use all the red wine. So give him a little bit, okay? Otherwise, he'll be up me. All right, so that is really gonna give it some flavor. And so for those of you who worried about feeding this to children, um, all the alcohol evaporates off the top. So you don't have to worry about it, it's not alcoholic. 
All right, so I'm gonna mix this up, making sure I don't get any lumps. This is what's gonna thicken it. Pour that sucker in, strain it to make sure the lumps don't go in. There we go, see, I've kept all the lumpy bits out. All right, now we're gonna do a big mix up. Oh yeah, look, that's a serious mix. That is just gonna, the flavors hanging out of there are just insane. All right, the trick now is to get the lid on. And we're gonna take this whole shooting match over to the fire. It's gonna simmer for at least a good hour to an hour and a half till. And you want it simmering because you want that meat to just melt in your mouth. All right, let's do it. Perfect. All right, so there we go. That's gonna sit there and it'll simmer away and we're gonna sit back and we're gonna enjoy this awesome sunset and uh, have a nice beer. Alrighty, we'll have a quick look at her. Oh, look at that. Oh yes, the meat has just fallen off the bone. Oh, the flavours are awesome. The boys are going to love it. I'll just flick that off. Here we go, boys. How'd you go, mate? She cooked? Yeah, got the tucker ready for you. We're in here ready, waiting for you to dish it up. There we go, a couple of chops. You want a couple, eh? Yeah, we there we go, there's two. And a fair bit of this jizz, mate. They call it all my, red, all my red wine in there. That's it. There you go, mate. Nice work, buddy, nice work. Oh, there it we smells go. good, too. Jeez, it is smoking hot. There's yours. Have that crack of that. Thanks, mate. How is it, boys? It's perfect. Have you done yourself, Jase? Yeah. Ah. I hope you like that recipe because there's many more in my new bush cookbook about that much.